So I've had my Steam Deck now for just over six weeks and I'm literally blown away every single day by what it can do. From being able to play so many Steam titles, including the very latest AAA games, right way through to being able to stream your PS5 and Xbox Series X to it, and then finally using emulation and being able to play literally any game that's ever been made and revisit some of these classics, it's just been incredible. Now one of my fondest video game memories was playing a great game called Guitar Hero and also a similar game called Rock Band and jamming out with my friends and family on plastic instruments. And I was really pleased to discover that recently there's been a new game called Clone Hero that has been released, which is very similar to Rock Band and Guitar Hero. And you're able to use your old Rock Band drums, so I dusted them off. And I tell you what, it works amazing on the Steam Deck with the Rock Band wide drum kit. And also I believe you can use uh, any MIDI drum kit. And I'm gonna show you exactly now how to get it up and running uh, because it is mind blowing. So without further ado, here we go. So let's get started. On our Steam Deck, we're going to press the Steam button. Then we're going to go all the way down to Power. Then we'll go to Switch to Desktop. And this will take us into Desktop mode. Next, we're going to download Clone Hero. So in your favorite internet browser, just type in clonehero.net. The link is in the description below. Just press Download. We're going to download the Linux version. And save it into the area that you want to on your Steam Deck and I'm going to save it into Downloads. When Clone Hero has finished downloading, we're just going to double click it. And then we're going to press Extract and I'm going to extract it into the Downloads folder. Once it's finished extracting all files, just move your folder either onto an SD card if you want to do that or I'm going to put it onto the internal storage. The next thing we need to do is double click on the Clone Hero folder that we just dragged in and then we're going to right click on the Clone Hero.x file. We're going to go down to Add to Steam and this will then make it available in our Steam library. Now that Clone Hero is installed we're going to get some songs. So we're going to go to chorus.fightthe.pw and here you'll be able to search for any song that you want to uh, try and download. And there's a really good selection here. Really, really great selection. A lot of them are by Harmonix themselves and a lot are by the incredible Clone Hero community. So just search for anything that you want to download. Uh, I'm quite a big Blink-182 fan, like many of you guys are, I'm sure. So I'm going to pick a Blink-182 song, All The Small Things. So, have a look around. When you're happy with the song, just download it. Let's save it into our Downloads folder. When it's finished downloading, let's find the folder in our Downloads. Let's extract it. Again to our Downloads folder. And after just a few seconds, you'll see that it is fully extracted. Let's click on the split view. And with the right hand side selected, let's go to home. And we're gonna click on the folder called dot clone hero, dot clone hero, not the other folder. In here, I'm gonna click on the songs folder. And here, this is where we store all of our songs. As you can see here, we're just gonna drag it over. And I've got many, many songs uh, that I've saved in here from the website and uh, yeah just have a look to see which songs that you like and you want to jam out to want to play along to on Clone Hero and in this folder this is where all the songs are stored remember it's home and it is dot clone hero and it's the songs folder right here just two more things we need to do in desktop mode we've nearly finished we're going to go to steamgriddb.com, link in the description below, and we're going to search Clone Hero. And here, this is where you're able to add custom artwork for our Clone Hero game in Steam. 
And this really is where the Steam Deck comes into its own for its amazing customization options. Uh, I want to go for more of a Guitar Hero theme, so right click and save image as. And I want to save it into the downloads folder. This is the long piece of custom artwork. Next, we're going to pick custom artwork for the wide custom artwork within Steam. Again, just download, right click, save image as into the downloads folder, and there we have it. Let's open Steam, and you can see here that I've added Clone Hero to my favorites on the left hand side right here. But when you first install Clone Hero, it will appear in the uncategorized area within Steam right at the bottom. So right click, add to favorites, and Clone Hero will then appear. Next click properties, click on the icon, and in the file types, select all file types. And this is where you put your custom artwork right here. We're gonna to go to the Your Collection part of Steam, click on Favorites, click on Clone Hero, right click, go to Manage, Set Custom Artwork. Again, just locate the Downloads folder where we've saved our artwork. File types, change to all files. And here you can select the long custom artwork that we downloaded. We've now got great artwork for our clone hero within Steam. One final thing on the desktop is click on the clone hero folder. And if we click on clone hero underscore data and go over to streaming assets folder and go into the songs folder. Now do not store your songs in this area, okay? Um, but when you first get Clone Hero, it comes with about 12 default songs inbuilt into Clone Hero. And if you don't want those like I didn't, you can just delete them from that folder. And that is us finished with the installation of Clone Hero fully complete. So let's go to gaming mode. The Rock Band wide drums work perfect with this. I believe that many electronic drum kits do work as well. I'd imagine that the wired guitars also work and you do need a USB-C to USB adapter, a link in the description below, but plug in your rock band drums or whatever instrument you're going to be playing into your adapter, plug the USB-C into your Steam Deck like so. So we've got Clone Hero now fully loaded up, press the start button and we're gonna choose a profile, okay? You can create a profile for the first time. And to select anything, we press the left trigger. The left trigger on the Steam Deck. That so confused me for a long time. But uh, whatever you wanna select, press the left trigger. You can navigate using the D-pad. Let's go and quick play. Again, left trigger. You can scroll down and pick any of our songs. On our profile in controller, left trigger to select drums, if you're playing electric drums, or if you're playing guitar, select that. Go down to MIDI settings, and we're gonna to go to input device, and again, left trick, and it should say MIDI through, so select that. Press B to go back. The very final step is the most crucial step and we need to press space bar on a keyboard and select player one, which is just there. And you need to select assign controller, press the assign controller button. And then you just press a button on your rock band pad or your MIDI drum kit. And that will then register it to player one. And that's it. I have my Steam Deck in an iPad holder on a mic stand. Link is in the description below. Um, but yeah, let us know how you guys get on with this. If you use wired drum kits, if you use wired guitars, maybe some of you may attempt to do wireless 
guitars and drum kits please leave uh, some comments let us know how you get on with this and um, i want to say a massive thank you for watching uh, if you really enjoyed the video please consider uh, liking and subscribing um, but thanks so much for sticking to the end i hope this has helped you out i'll see you in the next video